All right, everyone. What's going on? Stricken here. I uh, got a battle here against WAC, who I found on um, the Team Uber. Uh, Y'all know who Team Uber is, so I don't think I need to tell you. <laughs> um, he leads off with a metric. The shiny sprite really makes him look really cool. I like the black one. So anyway, I go for the sub, and um, I was th I was thinking, and I was like, you know, I'll focus punch, just get rid of the sub, and misclicked and hit sub again. Which um, would have looked really new if he hadn't already broken my sub. So it was like, oh, it looked cool. It was like, oh yeah, I made that sub. I knew he was going to break my sub. I wanted to see what move he had. Oh, all right. So I focus punch on the next turn um, so that we get the double sub break. And um, well, he has hidden power of water, I'm thinking. Water or earth? I would assume water since um, it's super effective against earth. Who knows? I don't really care. <laughs> so um, maybe it's bug. Who knows? Who, who really knows? So I'll switch over here with bliss, um, to my bliss bliss, Miss Piggy. And um, she's going to take whatever, even if I say she'd be fighting, it wouldn't have to do much to me. And um, I'm like, you know what? I'm a Thunder Wave, just in case he switches. Because I had a feeling he would switch. But he didn't. He subbed again. Which shows that he's got a lot more courage than most. Because he's staying in on Sandstorm, and Sandstorm bypasses sub to substitute. And it really is not all that difficult to stall this dude out, unless I get a pair of hatch like the rest of the game. And, um, I break the sub, Sandstorm. I'm like, you know, I might, s I was thinking, should I s s Seismic Toss again? Nah, I'll soft boil. I mean, I, w I thought, you know, I might, I'll probably need a full HP Blissey later on in the game. Um, who knows, he might have a Gengar or some crap. So, um, that works in my favor. So, no big deal there. whoop de freaking do uh, took down the Manetric, and, um, just by stalling it out, which everyone knows is boring, um, sit there and just soft boil every time it hits you with Thunderbolt, and just watch the HP slowly fall, 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 um, it should, it should be everyone's first thought, is, if you can, just stall something out and keep your Pokemon at max HP, because that basically means they lost the Pokemon for nothing, so, you see, um, Manetric died, and Blissey basically didn't take any damage. It just lost a few pick points, which I can really, I can't honestly deal with. So, um, I go over to Shadow to take the predicted close combat, but he had Hypnosis, which was great. Um, I thought he might Hypnosis, but I was like, no, maybe I'm over predicting. And he Shadow Sneaks, and I was like, the singular Shadow Sneak? Ah, shit. So, um, I Shadow Ball, um, praising God that, um, uh, that I didn't die to the Shadow Sneak, and um, remembering that I made all my Pokemon bulky for a reason. And he brings in a Metagross, and I was like, you know, this thing is probably a Bullet Puncher. But he didn't Bullet Punch, so I exploded in his mouth. Probably should have Shadow Balled, it probably, it might have done more damage, but uh, I was just like, yeah, uh, screw it, I'll just explode. So I go over here to Skarmory, and um, I'm like, I'm going to get rid of that Agility. That Agility, uh, Agility Gross is just a pain in the ass. I was hoping he didn't have T-Punch, but he had Ice Punch, and that did a lot of damage. Uh, that did a lot more than I thought it would do. But neutral um, damage with a really high attack power monster is good. But, um, not monster, Pokemon, whatever. Pocket monster, ha ha ha. I go over to Chain Chomp, hoping to dodge the Leech Seed um, with the Sand Veil Hacks. But, of course, once again, everyone's hacks is not my hacks, and I don't dodge shit. So, I get one Sword Stance in, um... Thinking, you know, I'm a freaking fire thing as bitch, and um, hopefully I'll die to whatever attack it has. But um, he grass knots me, and um, I was like, could I live another um sword stance? And um, I was looking at it, and I probably couldn't. I mean, it took that took like 41 HP or so, just with the um leech seed, which was gay. So at least now he won't get much HP because I'm only lost 24. So keep it still to be at a good killable number. And, um, fucking grass knots pain in the ass when you have a Tyranitar, but that thing doesn't have very much special attack. So I knew I could live it, and, um, I also knew that, um, Dark Pulse would KO this bitch. And, um, it would two hit KO if he stayed in, but, um, which is great. Wall breaking, um, Tyranoboa, always sweet. I'm thinking about working on his spread some, um, he ain't really been much help to me recently. Um, I made him more bulky than, um, just HP. Everyone normally gets a 4 or 4 HP. Mine's got 388. And, um, he surfs me. And which, of course, is gonna KO, but 
I sh probably should have just switched over to Blissey. That was I made a few bad mistakes here. And I went over to Skarmory thinking, you know, Brave Bird getting that damage. Um I thought it might win hit KO. Um I honestly Blissey was the best choice and I screwed up badly. Um letting Skarmory get take Skarmory and my Tyranitar both take the heat for that crap. So, um, I T-Wave, expecting a switch. I mean, because, like I said in previous videos, you don't want to leave a Tentacroll in on a Blissey. And for some reason, he Ice Beams. And I was like, what? Was he going for Freeze Hacks? Uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So, um, that, um, Ice Beam didn't do squat to my Blissey. And, um, a Seismic Toss. And I was like, oh, did that kill? Did that kill? No, I didn't kill. Which was totally gay. And, um, I thought, you know, maybe agility's coming. Nope. Mash. <laughs> Bad color on my part. Um, it was extremely terrible. I, he got that crit, which probably didn't matter, and I realized, oh shit, life orb. <laughs> so I go to her across, and, um, a close combat. Because I, I don't know what he's got left. I knew, all I knew was that he had a, um, oh, camera skip. I'm sorry, guys. Um, he switched to a Gengar as I close combat to kill the um the Metagross right there. And um I switched over to Skarmory to take um whatever hit he was throwing at me and he T bolts. Um he maxed my camera length out so I had to start save and start over again. And um that's just it took me a minute to get it saved and stuff, so you missed the KO and all that crap. So forgive me. Hexacross comes in and um he's gonna do his beastly maneuver of taking the T bolt and um Sadly, I get pair of hacks. But, um, and this guy's not guts, he's swarm. Um, it's the only one I could find was a swarm hair across, so. I think I'm finding me a new one, uh, trying to get me guts. Because I thought this, I thought for the, like, for the longest time this guy had guts, but no, he has, he has swarm, which blows. Um, paralyzed, paralyzation, probably would have helped me one hit KO this, um, Tentacruel with Night Slash. But, it's alright, I can deal with it. Night Slash hits, and, um, it does a decent bit of damage, in my opinion. I did a pretty good sum. Um, I didn't expect to live. Right here for the Surf. And look at this, Sandstorm. Boom. 14 HP. 14 HP. Um, and the next one was decided purely on hacks. Whoever got the most hacks loses. And Night Slash hits the Tentacruel. Which was lucky for me, and I was like, okay, Sandstorm, I lose. But, Sandstorm doesn't go through, although Life Orb damage does. So, it was a 1-0. Really close game. That was just, holy crap. That match was the closest I've had in a long time. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Um, 